Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Everyone understands the importance of lithography machines. Due to their difficulty in manufacturing, only a few companies worldwide can produce the machines used in chip manufacturing. The market is now essentially monopolized by ASML of the Netherlands, particularly for the most advanced EUV technology, which only ASML can produce. For this reason, many regions are researching lithography technology routes that circumvent EUV. Among them, nanoimprint lithography, developed by Canon of Japan, is the most advanced and has already entered production line applications. However, Canon's monopoly was quickly broken, with the first machine delivered to mainland China. Currently, only three countries and four companies worldwide can produce lithography machines for chip manufacturing, in addition to ASML of the Netherlands, Nikon and Canon of Japan, and Shanghai Microelectronics of China, but none of these companies lags far behind ASML of the Netherlands. In fact, before ASML's rise, Nikon and Canon were the global leaders in lithography machines, known as Japan's double lithography giants. Later, ASML surpassed it with immersion DUV, and with the subsequent introduction of EUV, completely dominated the market. But Nikon and Canon haven't given up on the lithography machine business and are continuing to catch up, with Nikon continuing to pursue its established path. Today, Nikon has achieved breakthroughs in immersion lithography and is able to sell immersion DUV systems, but production volumes are low, with only a few units sold annually. Canon continues to sell low- and mid-range lithography machines, but has taken a different approach, developing nano-imprint lithography. Canon understands that defeating ASML in EUV is unlikely, so it's betting on nano-imprint lithography. Although Shanghai Microelectronics has also achieved breakthroughs in chip manufacturing lithography machines, its process technology is relatively backward. However, this solves a significant problem, as China is not worried about supply disruptions to mature process chips, and the company is also developing advanced lithography machines. Without further details, today we'll focus on nanoimprint lithography, NIL. NIL involves pressing a three-dimensional mask onto the photosensitive material of a wafer while simultaneously irradiating it with light to transfer the mask in one go, achieving the effects of photolithography. This technology has long been considered one of the most promising lithography techniques. Canon began researching it in 2014, and now holds a significant advantage in nil patents, far surpassing other manufacturers. Furthermore, this technology is no longer just on paper. In 2021, Canon launched a finished machine, which was also used in Kioxia's NAND flash memory production lines in Japan. Currently, Canon's most advanced nanoimprint lithography equipment can produce patterns with a line width of 14 nanometers, equivalent to the production of 5 nanometers logic chips using conventional lithography machines. Of note, the 5 nanometers process requires EUV lithography. Last September, Canon delivered the FPA 1200 NZ 2C nanoimprint lithography machine to the Texas Instruments Institute of Technology, featuring a 14 nanometers line width. This is theoretically more cost-effective than conventional lithography, requiring only 40% of the investment required for EUV and 10 times less energy consumption. Thus, NIL technology is considered a strong competitor to EUV, 
and Canon is reportedly developing an even more advanced 2 nanometers process. Some might ask if China could then purchase Canon's nil lithography systems, freeing it from ASML's EUV restrictions on China. Unfortunately, Canon's CEO previously stated in an interview that sales to China are prohibited. Due to US export controls, China cannot purchase Canon's nil lithography systems, forcing it to pursue domestic breakthroughs. The good news is that China is also working hard. Recently, the domestic company PU Lin Technology announced that its first independently designed and developed PLSR series inkjet stepper nanoimprint lithography system has successfully passed acceptance and has been delivered to a domestic customer specializing in specialized processes. Notably, PULIN Technologies PLSR Series Inkjet Stepper Nanoimprint Lithography System has gone a step further, achieving nanoimprint lithography with line widths of less than 10 nanometers, surpassing Canon in this regard. Key to this is that PULIN Technology has successfully overcome multiple technical bottlenecks and equipped itself with its own proprietary software control system. The system has already completed preliminary R&D and verification for memory chips, silicon-based microdisplays, silicon photonics, and advanced packaging. However, this equipment is primarily used for memory chips, meaning domestic memory chip manufacturers can break free from their reliance on foreign equipment. Even Canon's nanoimprint lithography equipment has its drawbacks. Chip manufacturing speed is slower than traditional photolithography, making it unsuitable for complex logic process chips. It is more suitable for NAND memory chips, enabling multilayer identical stacking. Thus, the breakthrough of Pullen Technologies' nanoimprint lithography equipment marks a solid step forward for China in high-end semiconductor equipment manufacturing, completely breaking Canon's monopoly and Western embargoes. This is why foreign media claim the Japanese monopoly has been broken. In short, China's semiconductor manufacturing has achieved a historic breakthrough. Pullen Technologies independently developed PLSR series inkjet stepper nanoimprint lithography equipment achieves process accuracy of less than 10 nanometers, surpassing Canon's core performance and successfully breaking the technological monopoly. This equipment achieves perfect bonding in a non-vacuum environment, increasing production capacity by threefold and paving the way for large-scale mass production.